problems on which chapter this is the motion of loss motion of loss so if a bob at rest explodes into two pieces then pieces must travel in opposite direction explain so what happened let us take best example one bomb is there it is uh, simply explode after exploding it is divided into two pieces okay the pieces must traveling in opposite direction explain okay based on which principle we will explain this problem first we have to consider the law um, this uh, according to law of conservation of momentum answer okay what is the uh, uh, law of conservation of momentum m1 u1 plus m2 u2 is equal to m1 v1 plus m2 v2 okay next what i mean the initial the bomb initially at it was rest then or else what we can say here m u we can say So the question is given like this. So according to law of conservation of momentum, what is that? M1 U1 plus M2 U2 is equal to M1 V1 plus M2 V2. This is the law of conservation of momentum if two bodies are um, traveling. So what I mean here only one is there initially. That's why I taken M1 is equal to M1 U1 plus M2 V2. So why I have taken M1 only means see the if bomb at rest. explodes how many into two pieces that's why we, uh, that is m1 that is m2 that m1 has velocity v1 m2 has velocity v2 two is there so initially it was one only that's why i taken m u so what is the word here it is at rest rest means initially it was at the rest position due to that i have taken u is equal to 0 then what i when wherever u is there simply i am substituting the in the place of u is equal to 0 then what i when m1 v1 plus m2 e2 this side equal to 0 then bring this side then m1 v1 is equal to minus m2 v2 so what is asking in the question the two pieces must traveling in opposite direction see this m1 v1 this is one piece this is m2 another piece so in the question what is there opposite so you got the negative sign then what we can say so they after exploding that bomb what happened they both are traveling in the our uh, different directions so the uh, seeing this formula we can say we can tell about this okay if any problem is given like this we have to consider we have to take this uh, then we have to analyze and we can tell the answer